Scorpius, I hope you're doing well. This is a touch of tarot. And I'm already starting with your cards. This is a March reading for you. So far, we got the World, Three of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. I am picking up heavy third-party energy right away. Um, thank you so much, by the way, if you are subscribed or if you are a Patreon member. I just want you to know you mean a lot to me because it really does help me. So let's get into this right away. Okay, Aquarius, what is going on? We're starting off with an ending with the world. And we are at the beginning of the year, right? This is for March, talking about what's coming in. And I feel like you've begun the year kind of with a closure. Now, this may actually have happened because of a third party. Look at this interesting card. There are two females here, um, one male, but the male, even though he has his arm around the red female, actually both him and the other female have the highlight around their head. So you may have been in a connection with someone that was in a connection with someone else, like plain and simple, um, whichever one you were, but there's a, an issue here going on. I feel like two people are very connected, but this person's hanging on to someone else and that possibly could have been you, Aquarius. So with this beautiful Ace of Swords energy, um, I think someone's just put something to rest. It says, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I'm, if that's me, which is very possible. Um, or if you have issues talking right now, I'm not sure. Like, it could be either. I know it's not Mercury retrograde anymore, but I am still, I think, in that energy. So it's possibly just me. Um, if not, then the reason that there's the stuttering and stuff is like you're done talking. You actually have nothing more to say about this. This does get put to rest, whether it's you or this other person doing that. Um, it may be winter where you are as well, because I'm seeing the snow energy. This could be some sort of an affair that was going on when it was springtime. And now you're like done with it. You've put someone to rest. Okay. And it's like, you put a sword right through that crown into the stone. It ain't coming back out. There's nothing more to say here. And I almost feel as though you're gone. Like it's it done. Focus, driven, decisive, Events moving forward at a great speed, choosing intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. This is you, Aquarius. Sudden or unexpected changes, review your options. So this is interesting because, you know, there could be someone else that didn't want to talk about something. There's something here that's over. Someone may not want to talk about it or may be done talking about it, or that may be both parties, right? But there is someone here who is communicating something or going somewhere uh, with the high priestess. This talks about knowing things internally, uh, your soul's truest desire, developing your intuitive gifts and trust. You know, you know what else I'm getting, Aquarius, is that you were dealing with someone in a third party and they would not fess up to it. They would not um, talk about it. This person is emotionally immature. They just shut down and then maybe got defensive or maybe even ran off. And you know. And I have, oh, is this a king and a queen? We have a king and a queen of pentacles here. This could actually be someone, Aquarius, with your energy here that you were... Uh, married to. Underneath the star card is the fool card. You know, someone is truly walking out of this. Okay, let me just see this for a second as well. It's interesting because Aquarius, your star card has the exact same person as the first card, the world card. So it really is you closing something out right now and I believe you know about something going on or you want to be somewhere else okay you could want to be somewhere else um, someone doesn't want to talk about something it could be this king because there's a crown here it could be the king interesting but someone is you know they know they know the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess, this is you. It's like you've seen it or something like that. Like you know it. You actually felt it. 
Okay, you know something's going on here. And I feel you are coming out of a connection. And this is a high high level connection in the sense that, you know, we have a king and queen of pentacles. Um, you've created a lot of, a, of love, a lot of love, yeah, maybe with this person, but also it's like a lot, you've just built a lot with this person to be a king and queen of pentacles. I feel like you both did put into this situation with, you know, the jugs, but also this is your energy. So maybe you were doing all the work for two or you were the one uh, supplying the love to this situation possibly, but someone's no longer um, reacting with emotions. You've, you're done with the emotions. Uh, you're ready for a new start. You're trusting, you're putting your fears aside, you're taking that leap of faith, and the Eight of Wands right under that to the sun. Aquarius, wherever you're going and whatever you're doing, it looks like it's leading to another fulfilling situation. Okay, so that's amazing. Let's clarify this. Okay. I'm going to put this card back. We already know this is you, this king and queen here of Pentacles, but we will clarify those together. Let's do the top ones first. Oh, it's a lot, but okay. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so I feel like you were in a connection. Um, there's a there's a connection ending. There's a connection breaking up. Okay, let's just put it like that with the two of cups. But the two of cups here, they're not together. This is the double decker. There's uh, multiple cards in here. From, like, you know, there's two of each. Anyhow, um, let me get into this. Literally, what I'm seeing is someone went for their desire. Um, you were in a relationship with this person. Maybe it was more of a partnership than anything because you're not even, like, hugging, smiling. Um, you do have two cups here. You're not even holding them. So it's almost like you did what you thought you're meant to do in this situation. Like maybe you had love at one point, but like the cups aren't even in your hands. You're not even close um, is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing someone was get, sending messages or interested in a third party. I'm also seeing um, this person, maybe in the beginning, they weren't actually going for that, but eventually it was, it came real there became uh, a connection. And I, for some reason, I want to say like it was with like an empress energy, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that. So anyways, maybe a fire energy. Um, and I feel like this person ran away to go have fun in another situation. Like, you know, they really went, they ran, they went for it for that other person. So let's clarify why this person won't talk about it now. Let's like get to the deep clarification. Um, so there's a partnership ending. Someone literally went and went and got what they wanted after waiting for quite some time. I'm going to make that a key note here, you know, and I'll tell you why, in case you want to see the details, you know, this person may have spotted something they liked, but see, it's just a shadow right now. It's not in color. Um, and then they may have communicated because this is an eight of wands. It is a salamander. I'm not sure exactly what a salamander represents, but in this case, um, with now it being in color, I feel like this person got, you know, what they were trying to get. You know, it did come real. It did become real. It did become some sort of a connection here. Okay, so let's clarify more. Okay, so we have money. And this could have been a key reason why this person just shut down. You may have been with this person you're dealing with for 13 years, 10 years, 3 years. This is my card for really more around 13 years, to be honest, because of the beetle that goes underground for 13 years and then comes up. Um, this actually is a thing that happens. But I feel that someone did not or was not ready for it. Oh, the way I pulled the cards there, a 10 and another 10. What's in between the seven? Um, this person was not ready to end a cycle. So they chose to shut down. And this also could have had to do with finances. Because remember, we have a king and queen of pentacle energy here. 
so interesting, right? But you knew is what I get. You definitely knew you have the hierophant. You're very connected, um, even if it's just to this person or just to yourself. And with the high priestess, the hierophant and the knight or uh, yeah, knight of swords, you knew something wasn't right. Okay, so I almost feel like something came out. We have the King of Cups. You may have just understood like something wasn't right because this person was no longer showing you love. You know, there may have just been that energy there. Now let's clarify this King and Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Page of Pentacles. I feel if anything, you've known this person for quite some time. You Both of you may have helped each other build or build each other up or one may have helped the other in, in their own ways, right? That's what I do get, actually, because you're obviously, you had successes together. Um, and that doesn't come by being selfish. Someone was helping someone, but that person was helping that person as well. And it's in totally different ways because you see, like, one person is extremely small um, and maybe even older and wiser. And the other person is young, healthy, uh, able having, you know, some sort of a financial offering here. So there was different things. And, you know, there may have been some love, too. I do feel like there was love. There was, but it was also a karmic situation or something. Okay, so let's just pull a few more cards. We'll get one for you and one for this person. One for you and one for this person. So this one flipped over first. This is this person, the adventurer, Avenger, sorry, desire to balance the scales of justice, righteous on behalf of society or oneself. What I get is you were dealing with someone who's really like very worldly, um, a little mysterious as well, not staying in one spot for sure. Okay. This is the Avenger. I feel, I just want to say adventurer. Um, yeah. So for you, you're coming up as the Messiah. You serve humanity with humility. So it looks like Aquarius, um, you're moving on to something else and it could be a worldwide project is what I'm getting here with that energy. I mean, you are a very, with the star energy, like you are that you are someone who helps many and I'm sorry, but the Messiah and the Avenger just don't go along in my, in my, what I'm picking up, like this one's too sneaky and it's not that they're sneaky, but you just don't know where this person is going to be or what, they're what they're really thinking sometimes okay and then you you're an open book you're like hello world hello universe come to me i want to help so up to you to do whatever you want thank you so much for joining me have a great day bye for now